Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right hand corner we have Love Snow, or Love Snow. As the blue turn bottom left hand corner, we have Megalisk as the hot pink Zerg. This is on Eclipse. And honestly, after game one and after, especially where Love getting a little bit greedy, not putting down the bunker, also not getting supply depots or SCVs. Like honestly, what needed to happen there is the SCVs needed to pull out in front of the Marines or just better scouting as well to make sure the Zergling count was held. Pretty proud of myself that I remembered Megalisk's uh, play style, but I'm wondering if we're going to see more of the same. You know what this tournament reminds me of? This tournament reminds me a little bit of the early era of Battle.net, where you would go into a 1v1 game, and it oftentimes <coughs> would be like not on ladder, or even sometimes in the ladder they had there, and you had no idea what level of skill player you're going to end up against. You had no idea what like the level of, of like the spread would be. So sometimes you'd end up facing a Korean, and back then everybody thought they were hacking. It was like, how could you know I was doing X, Y, and Z? Maybe some of them were. But uh, yeah, oftentimes I knew people that like, as soon as they faced a Korean, they would just exit. They were like, forget this, we're exiting. No more Korean players. But uh, on the other side of it, lost my train of thought. On the other side of it, Occasionally, you'd just be facing someone that obviously, like, everyone's first thing to do when they played Brood War initially and they ended up in a competitive game was to go Terran and then just try to shell up their base. Everybody. In fact, I did that my first match and thought I was so clever and so good at this game. And uh, my uh, the person I was playing with was not an English speaker. I don't think they were Korean. I think they might have been from South America. I don't know. But they were like please help, please help. And I was just leaving them out on their own. They're running around doing everything. And then all of a sudden, like, they started trying to attack me and I had a bunch of siege tanks and they thought I was going to attack, which I wasn't. So one of, they both instantly left. So my teammate was berating me the entire time for not helping him and watching him just get smushed in a 2v2. And then the follow-up was, never mind, you're a good teammate, which made me feel great. And then I thought I knew what I was doing, but I didn't. I don't think they realized I would have just stayed there and let my teammate die. Ooh, so Bunker being built from Love this time. Net cancellation for a follow-up. This drone out on the front. Trying to go for a front door seal. The dr drone here is going to get an interrupt. Spawning pool, extractor up. As we're actually talking about the game now. I think he realized there was an overlord overhead, so he wasn't going to really be able to get that Bunker follow-up uh, finished. So going to trade out. So now with a decent size blockade on the front, which will make a Zergling harass much more challenging to execute. The drone is going to go ahead and sneak back out. There is this gap along that northern corridor, but fewer Marines still should be able to defend this. Love kind of delayed on this command center grab, but does have it. Natural expansion online. Immediate tech to layer there. Love going to see it. Still has this SCV unharassed, but I think this time going to be a little bit more diligent about keeping that SCV alive. Second barracks being placed at the natural expansion, refinery being grabbed, so I assume this is going to be another play on the uh, two racks into academy build. Two additional Zergling being built. I'm going to try to keep an eye on those Zergling count, a little bit of a dance out on the front. Funny thing is, the Zerglings are blocking the ramp as to deny information, but at the same time, the lair is fully out and open. And I, yeah. SCV looks like it's going to end up losing its life with that. Let's see if that upon... Nope, still going to drone up. Is just going to be two hatch. No, Hydralis Den. All right, so... Getting a little bit cheeky here. It looks like it is going to be two hatch... Lurker, I assume. And maybe a 9mm drop. I'm waiting to see if we see a Ventral Sax upgrade. Or if it's just going to be full Lurker out on the front. SCV blockading right there. Second expansion is up. Academy being built. So with the lack of detection, it can be a taxation of those initial commsats. But we'll see if they reveal second gas being tacked on. There's the lurker upgrade. More zerglings now flooding out. So it's going to be an all-in attempt once again from Megalisk. SCV has managed to branch out of that corner and swing all the way around. So it might get a f look at the initial hydralisks as they're spawning, at the very least, they'll be able to confirm the lair. 
Is there an engineering bay? Engineering bay is being constructed. Zerglings sweeping or pocketing themselves to the south. So now the Hydral Sten and the Hydralisks have been spotted. So Love has to know what's coming. So if he loses at this stage, I, it's one of those things where I'm like, okay, it's your fault at this stage. You've got the scouting information you were looking for diligently. Stim being upgraded. Terran Factory being tacked on. No Comsat stations as of yet. Those are going to be critical pieces. Lifting off, building a bunker out on the front, but needs to tack on that detection. Marines pressing forward. Lurker Tech not that far from finishing. The Zerglings getting a run by as the Marines moving out of position. The Overlord saw it. SCV's pulling off the line. I'm not sure what the plan with that was. So a bit of a blockade, losing some troops and getting some disruption here. But again, I'm really concerned. So Engineering Bay is up, but still no Comsat station. SCV's getting creamed out on the front. There's Stim kicking in. Love not playing up to capacity here. I have to say, I've seen him play much better. Now Comsat station's being added. Hydralisks not that far away, but a lot of disruption thus far. Nothing in the bunker. Second bunker being placed out on the front. SCV's not mining in the background. So Megalus doing a good job with these run-bys. And also a turret. So plus one weapons upgrading, but no turret on the front as of yet. So despite seeing the Hydralis den and just the two bases, it doesn't look like Love is quite prepared potentially for a lurker, a lurker all in on his front. The Zerglings are going to get cleaned up. But more Zerglings coming. The front door, again, not sealed. There's the turret, but that turret feels... Ooh, scarily late. Five lurkers moving up. And there's no second comsat, so there's going to be one comsat to work with. Overlord taking some damage to distract. Poking out there. Initial lurkers getting wiped out. Not all of the marines making to the bunker. That bunker getting wiped out very rapidly. And Megalisk, with the zergling run by and some distraction, looks like he's done it. Breached the natural. Additional bunkers being built on the high ground just to keep love in the game, but at this stage, too little, too late. Lurker's pressing forward, and love not playing up to his capacity, honestly. I've seen him play much, much better than this. So much better. Command center now can it yeah, that's a GG and Megalisk with Yeah, oof. I think Love's gotta feel salty on that one. I'm wondering if he had a rough night the night before, because not playing up to his capacity, I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Regardless, thanks for listening.